according to the Bible. That's right. You ever heard that before, sister? Oh, that's a blessing. That's a blessing. That's a blessing because our people have been taught that we're anything else except the, the, ch the children of the Most High. You know, we've been taught that we're God's, that we're not God's chosen people, that we are uh, Gentiles. That's what they told our people. You know, a lot of people don't understand the New Testament. When Paul was going back to teach the Gentiles, he was teaching his people that were in foreign lands, that were, they came from Israel or were born in other lands, they would consider themselves Gentiles because they started learning Gentile customs. That's what happened. So here in America, the same thing happened. We've been brought into a foreign land and now we've been taught Gentile customs because we can all agree that the so-called white man, he's a Gentile. That's right. Even the so-called white man will tell you he's a Gentile. You know? He'll tell you that all day because he know it because he ain't keeping not one of God's commandments. Right. You know, the Bible said, do not kill, this man kill. The Lord said, do not steal, he steal. You know, he break all of God's laws. That's right. You know, so he cannot be the people. Even he admit that he's not. But we're going to show the sister something right. We're going to show all our people, thus said the Lord, of who you are according to the Bible, man. Uh, let's bring out Galatians 1 and 6. And then give me uh, Galatians 1 and 6 through uh, through 7. And keep what y'all got, King. Keep what y'all had earlier. Galatians chapter 1, verse 6 through, let's see, 6 through 7. Galatians 1, verse 6. I marvel that you are so soon removed from him that called, called you into the grace of Christ unto another gospel. So what? To another so gospel. gospel. So we've been far removed to another gospel. You know, we've been taught that Jesus Christ is a white man. You know, we've been taught a recreated Christ. Not the Christ of the Bible, you know. Not Yahweh Shai as it's been pronounced in the Hebrew, but we've been taught Jesus. Sweet white Jesus. You know, that's what we've been taught. Bring that out one more time, King. I, I marvel that ye are so soon removed from him that call you into the grace of Christ unto another gospel. To another gospel. And another gospel is called Christianity. Right. Christianity is that other gospel that we wasn't even taught. That's right. Our people never knew that we was Christians. We never, we never label ourselves as Christians. That's right. According to history and according to the Bible, we were the Israelites. That's, That's right. right. That's what we were. You know? But we've been taught that we're Gentiles here. That's another gospel. We were the so-called black man, he was never considered a Gentile. Maybe in his actions, his disobedience towards the most high. That's but he was also, he was always an Israelite. Always. Give me verse 7 again. Which is not another, but there be some that trouble you, who have perverted the gospel of Christ. Oh, they have perverted the gospel of Christ. You know? Thank you, sister, for listening. Sister, did you know you're an Israelite? Huh? Sister had to get up and go after that, man. But I hope she took that in and meditated on it, man. Right, right, right. Because a lot of you brothers and sisters, you don't understand that we've been perverted in this Christianity lifestyle. Right, That's right. We've been perverted to call ourselves Christians and black and uh, African American, man. Bring it out. Those things are five words and proverbs, man. That's right. You would never call those things, man. Right. You was always called the sons and daughters of the whole time. That's right. You know? And that's why we need in these conditions today in America as slaves in this place. And we've been told that we're we're just a, a, a Christian, man. We anybody. Huh. We've been taught that we're anybody, man. But not thus said the Lord, man. Not thus in the Lord. Give me Leviticus. Bring out that. You know what? Bring out that in Jeremiah 2. Bring that out in Jeremiah 2, man. Because we got to show our people, man. Let's bring this out. Because a lot of our people don't understand who we are. We don't understand that we've been perverted into another doctrine into another gospel, but not of Christ. Right. right. Not of the black Messiah, but you've been perverted into another gospel of the white man, man. Of this white devil. Bring it out, King. Jeremiah 2. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 2, and verse 13. For my people have committed two evils. They have what? They For my people have committed two evils. You so-called black people, you're the Israelites, you have committed two evils. Bring it out, King. For my people have committed two evils. Uh-huh. They have forsaken me, the fountain of living waters. You have forsaken the Father, the fountain of many waters, of living waters. You have forsaken the Most High. Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. You have forsaken him, man. Because now you have put the white man as your living water. You have gained all your knowledge, 
all your, 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 all your, all your money, everything you have, you got it from the so-called white man. Now you look for him as the fountain of many uh, of living waters. But in here, in here in America, the so-called white man, he's the fountain of dead waters, man. Right. You know, if I can say it like that, he's the fountain of dead water. This water that this devil gives us, it don't run, it don't benefit us. That's right. But when you come back to the Lord's statutes and commandments, it's living, you know, and it benefit you. You know, it's nourishing. Continue, brother. For my people have committed to evil. They have forsaken me, the fountain of living water. That's one. And hewed them out of cistern, broken cistern that cannot hold, that can hold no water. That can do what? That, that can, can hold, hold no water. water. Christianity cannot hold any water. Right. It's a, it's a doctrine full of holes. Right. You know, what can we find in the Bible that Jesus Christ was white? Right. Now, what can we find in the Bible when Jesus Christ was a white man, man? That's right. You know, it's a doctrine full of holes. How, what kind of Christianity can we find that God going to save everybody, man? Right. Uh, I challenge you Christians today, man. Uh, hey, just like the brother said, we're coming to he said, it's challenge day. Right. This is challenge day. We challenge you Christians. Show us what God said he's going to save every other nation on the planet Earth in the Bible. You can't because they come from the Christian doctrine. That's, right. that's that's the cistern that you have used, the broken cistern that can't hold any water. You know, can't hold any knowledge. You know, can't tell you that you so-called black people, you are the best people on the planet Earth. Right. You're not going to hear that in that broken uh, uh, cistern of Christianity. You know. Continue, King. Verse fourteen. Uh huh. Is Israel a servant? Is Bring Israel a servant? Is he a homeborn slave? And is you a homeborn slave? Why is he spoiled? And why are you spoiled? You're spoiled because you've been listening to dumb doctrine. You know, you've been listening to the so-called white man. That's why you're spoiled, you man. You know? That's why you're spoiled. Because you've been listening to your enemies. And you ain't took on their knowledge and not thus said the Lord, man. You have to take on the white man's knowledge and not thus said the Lord. Bring it out in Leviticus. Leviticus 20, verse, chapter 20, verse 3. Uh -huh. Verse 23. And ye shall not walk in the malice of the nation. And you should not what? And ye shall, shall not walk, walk in the malice of the, of the nation. nation. And you should not walk in the malice of the other nations. You know, you so called black people, you are so quick. You are so damn quick to walk behind the other nations in the ways they walk, in the ways they walk in, in the doctrines they teach. You so quick to walk behind the other nations. You know? This is why our sister put on blonde wigs, trying to look like the white woman. You're so quick to walk behind the other nations, man. Right. So the Lord said, you know, walk behind the other nations. You know, the white woman got her hair all stringy. You want to make your hair stringy. Right. You know, she put on tight leotards. You want to put on tight leotards. That's right. You know, you're so quick to walk behind the other nations. You know, and a lot of you brothers and sisters, you go right into their seminary schools. As we call it in the truth, cemetery school. Right. Because it's a system of dead knowledge. That's right. right. You know? You're so quick to run behind the so called white man and these heathens after every dumb doctrine they got, man. Bring that out one more time, King. And you shall not walk in the manner of the nation. You should not walk in the manner of the other nations. Which I cast out before you. Which the Lord cast out before you. The Lord cast out these nations before us. You know? But we went, hey, look, when we took over the land of Canaan, we cast, the Lord cast them down without before us, man. That's right. You know? But you still want to go back into the African knowledge. I'm an Egyptian now. You know? I got an uncle on my neck, so I'm an Egyptian. You know? Uh, uh, look, I, I was a pharaoh at one time. You know, you dummy, man. You know, it was the only fair few pharaohs on the earth, man. How can you be a pharaoh, man? But the Lord said he's going to make you a nation of kings and priests. Look at that, what you got, King? Which oh. The book of Proverbs, chapter 3, and verse 31. Bring it out. Envy not the oppressor, and choose none of his way. Huh. The scripture says, Envy not the oppressor, right. and choose none of his ways. You so-called black people, you're quick to envy your oppressors. You're quick to envy that pale devil. Bring it out. You know? You know you want to you want to envy Goldilocks, man. Right. You know what I'm saying? You quick to put on her damn hair in your head. Right. That's right. You know? Cinderella. You know, damn Cinderella, man. You know, you quick to do that, man. Stop envying these nations, man. Stop envying these heathens. Bring it out, King. 
The book of Proverbs, chapter 3, verse 31. Uh -huh. Envy thou not the oppressor. Envy what? Envy, envy thou not, not the oppressor. The Lord said, envy thou not the oppressor, you so-called black women. Pick it out. And choose none of his ways. Now choose some of his ways. And, and choose none of his ways. ways. Now put on that fake blonde hair on your head. And, and choose none of his ways. ways. Don't choose none of the oppressor ways, you so-called black women. Right. Stop trying to be like the so-called white woman. Right. You know, she a damn dust dog, man. That's, That's right. right. Why you want to be like that? Huh? Why you want to be like a damn wet poodle, man? Right. But that's what you do when you choose the envy of the, I mean, when you choose the envy of the nations, you know? When you choose to be just like them, man, you envy them, man. Oh, the white woman, she got good blonde hair. I want to look just like her. And I know you get it tired of hearing it, but I got to keep bringing it out like that, man. Right. Because you, you got that damn wig on your head, and that damn blonde hair, you can't hear through that, man. Mm -hmm. That's right. You know? So I got to get it where it sticks. That's right. You know? Bring it out. Can you bring, continue with that little bit for me? For well, they committed all these things, and therefore I have heard them. Huh. The Lord said, you all have committed all these things. That's why the Lord have abhorred them. You know, the Lord have abhorred these other nations. But you want to quick to run behind them. That's the problem today in this nation, man. This is a problem today in our communities. We so quick to run behind the white man and his doctrines. We so quick to run behind every other nation and what they do, man. The Arab said you loose is in the store. And then, oh man, hey, he gave me a deal, man. I don't think I'm going to join Islam tomorrow. Right. You know? Hey, look, hey, your boss, he a Mason. So to get that good raise, I want to be a Mason too. Right. I'm going to go to my boss now, man. I'm going to give me a be a Mason. So I can give you a good raise, man. Bring that out, You bro. know, so I can get, get looked at as somebody. You always want to get looked at as somebody, man. Right. But when the Lord told you the special people on the planet Earth. Right. You know? The Lord said you're in holy people, you so-called black folks. But you don't want to hear him. You want to hear what the white man say, man. You want to take on another covering that had nothing to do with the Lord. You know? That had nothing to do with the Most High God. Bring it out, King. Jeremiah 44, verse 8. Bring it out. And that ye provoke me into wrath with the words of your hands. The Lord said you have provoked him with the wrath of your hands. All your damn stupid doings. Always want to put somebody else's head, hair in your head. You said the Lord said you have provoked him into the realm. Continue. With the works of your hand. With the works of your hand. Your burning evil. Egypt, burning unto other gods in the land of Egypt, which ye be gone to dwell, that you might cut off yourself, that you might be a curse and a reproach among all the nations of the earth. Con, you have ran into all these other gods, all these other damn doctrines that the Lord told you not to do that was in Egypt. You quick to run behind the other nations, you so-called black folks. You quick to run behind these all the other damn religions. But the Lord gave you one religion. That was to keep his commandments. That was your religion. And it's not a religion, it's your culture. That's right. You know? The Lord told you to keep his commandments and live. That's right. But you chose to be like the other nations. Now we dead, man. Right. Now we die here in the streets of America. Now we get shot down by the police. Now we get home by the KKK, you know? Now look at the brother Rashid Carter, man. Now he's dead because he want to make a living. You know what I'm saying? Now they killed the brother, man. Because you like to follow behind these other gods and these dumb doctrines, man. Bring it out, King. The book of Baruch, chapter 3, verse 10. Uh -huh. How happeneth it, Israel, that thou art in thy enemy's land? How? How did you come into this place called America? Huh? How, how, did, you, how did you get here? And don't tell me you was already here. They got records of your people coming on slave ships. Right. You know? So we understand that some of our brothers and sisters was here already. You know? But we understand that the majority of the tribe of Judah, you so-called black folk, you came over from Israel and Africa. That's right. That's what happened, man. The Lord said, how happened it, oh Israel, that you get into your enemy, enemy's land? Continue, brother. That thou art waxing old in a strange country. How did you wax cold old? How did you wax old in a strange country? Huh? You black folks and Latinos, have you ever asked yourself, why are we waxing old in this place called America? Why are we continuing to die and never grow? We don't own a damn thing. We just born a slave and die a damn slave. That's waxing old. Then you wax old in the same dumb doctrine of Christianity. You know what I'm saying? We've been having Christianity since we came over here. Right. And, and ain't nothing changed. 
ain't, ain't benefited us not one bit. You waxing old, man, in the same dumbass doctrines, man. Right. Continue, brother. That thou art defiled with the dead. Now you defiled with the dead, man. Now you defiled with the so-called pale-faced white man that look like he's already dead. That's right. You know? You ain't defile yourself with the dead over here in America because you like to listen to those dumb Christians talking about we all could be saved if you just say Jesus. Say Jesus a thousand times, you could be saved. Man, show me that in the Bible, man. Right. You never question your Christian pastors. Right. Why in the hell you black folks never question your pastors? Why you never question your pastors on why in the hell I got to be saved just to call Jesus? We've been calling Jesus our whole life, and we still ain't saved, man. That's right. right. We've been calling on that damn devil, that Sandra Bojia, not the one in the Bible. We've been calling on him forever, and we still not saved. Ask yourself, black folks. Ask yourself, Israelites. Continue, brother. The book of Baruch, chapter 3, verse 11. Uh -huh. yep. That thou art counted with them that go down into the grave. Thou hast forsaken the fountain of wisdom. For if thou hadst walked in the way of God, thou should have had dwelled in peace forever. For what, brother? Forever. Forever. The Lord said you have forsaken the fountain of living waters, man. You have forsaken the Lord's commandments. You know what I'm saying? And you would have lived forever. Look at Noah. He lived to be 900 something years old, man. That's right. Was it 900? Huh? Look, at, look, at, look at Adam, man. Our forefather Adam, Jet, he lived to be 930 years old. Just for keeping the, the commandments a short time. You know? Right. Hey, look, our people, our people kept those commandments. And that's why we stayed alive. But now you keep the doctrine of the so-called white man, and now you're dead. Right. Now you're getting shot down and die from diabetes and all other diseases and illnesses that plague us as a people. Right. Bring it out, King. Book of Isaiah, chapter 20. Book of Isaiah, chapter 29, and verse 22. Bring it out. Therefore, thus said the Lord, who redeemed Abraham concerning the house of Jacob. Jacob shall not now be ashamed, neither shall his face now wax pale. Come The Lord said Jacob should not should not wax his face should not uh, be excuse me to lock you he should not be ashamed nor his face wax pale right so right. hey when did the so-called israelites face wax pale right you know when did the so-called israelites face look white like those so-called people over in israel you know the lord said he should not be ashamed so we out here bold like lions telling you that we're the israelites that's right, right. you know and those other people they got a hard a high their doctrine and go into their synagogues and pray. They're not coming out here towards you to try to wake you up, to tell you that you're God's chosen people. Ain't right. going to the highways, you know, they're not going to the highways and byways and compelling you to come into the Father. They're not doing that. They hire into their synagogues, man. You know, but nearly they head to that damn wall in Mecca. You know, with like a damn bubblehead, man. You know, <laughs> doing this thing, man. You know, the Lord said His face, His people face would never wax pale. Right. And we look at these other devils, these devils, they face wax pale, man. Right. You know? You know? We in the sun right now, man. Get all the vitamin D that the Lord created for us, man. Right. Right. That's right. Them devils can't go out there and do that thing in Israel. They get sunburned in Israel, man. Right. Get sun cancer, man. You know? The Lord didn't make them special. The Lord said, You are a special people. Right. You so called black folks, the Lord, Yahweh, by Shim Yahweh Shah, said, You are a special people, man. That's right. You know? Bring it up, continue, King. Bring it up, King. The book of Isaiah, chapter 40 and verse 9. Uh -huh. O Zion, that bringeth good tidings, get thee up into the high mountain. O Jerusalem, that bringeth good tidings. Come, lift up the voice with strength. The word what? Lift up the voice with strength. Wait, look, we bringing good tidings. You know? This is good tidings to let you know that you God's chosen people. That you're special upon the place of the upon the face of the earth. That you are above the all of the other nations. These are good tidings we give you right here, here in America, here in the pits of the devil. You know, we bring you good tidings. Continue, King. Lift it up. Be not afraid. Say unto the cities of Judah, Behold your God. Behold, the Lord God will come with strong hand, and his arm shall rule for him. Behold. His reward is with him and his work before him. Come on, come on. So we're bringing you good tidings, man. You know, 
Those fakes, those, those imposters over there in Israel, they're not bringing you any good tidings. They're not telling you that you're God's chosen people. They're not telling you that God's going to rescue you out of this situation. Right. And rescue you out of this damn captivity called America. They're not telling you that, man. We tell you to keep the Lord's commandments. To come back to the fountain of living waters. You know, that you're God's chosen people, man. Nobody else on the planet Earth is God's chosen people but you so-called black folks. That's right. You know, that's what we are here doing, man. We're bringing you good tidings. You know, we're not telling you to clap your hands a million times until you get the Holy Ghost. You know, that's what your Christian pastor tell you. In order for you to receive Christ in your life, you got to clap your hands a million times. A million and one to make it for sure. And then you'll get the Holy Ghost. That's not of the Lord, man. Right. That's not of the Bible. You know? That's witchcraft, man. You know? Bring it out, King. It's the book of Baruch, chapter 4, verse 14. Uh -huh. Let them that dwell about Zion come and remember ye the captivity of my sons and daughters, which the everlasting, everlasting have brought upon them. Lord. The Lord said, bring the daughters of Zion and let them remember the things that the Lord had brought upon us. Continue, King. For he had brought a nation upon them from far. From where? From, from far. far. The Lord had brought the white man against you. That's why you're going through these situations, because the Lord did it. That's right. Because of your rebelliousness, man. Because of your hard-headedness. Because of your stiff neckness That's why the Lord brought this nation upon you. You know? Continue. For he had brought a nation upon them from far. A shameless nation. A what? A, a shameless, shameless nation. nation. No, a godly nation. A, a shameless, shameless nation. nation. The so-called white man is a shameless nation. You know? These so-called people, these so-called white folks, they kill, steal, and destroy, man. Right. That's what the Bible is talking about when he said the devil comes to kill, steal, and destroy. Right. Only a shameless nation would do that, man. And they break all God's commandments. Right. That's right. They're not keeping a God, they're not keeping a, a God commandment, man. Like I say it like, I'm trying to say it in a nice way, King. You know? Break it out, King. Continue. For he had brought a nation from upon them from far, a shameless nation. And of a strange language, who neither reverence old men nor pity child. And they don't pity. They don't pity your old men. They don't pity you old women. You black women, you had to cook for that devil at five o'clock in the morning. That's right. You know, yet instead, your husband tells you to get up, hey baby, fix me some eggs before I go to work. Fix me some pancakes, baby. Ah, oh, I can't do it. But when that white man told you to get up, you had to get your ass up. You had to fix the pancakes. You had to fix them eggs, man, at whatever right. time he wants. Right. And you had to sleep with that damn nasty devil when he wanted right. to, man. You know? Yeah. Bring it out. He was a damn bad witch. You know? Wow. You ain't had no choice. But now you got a choice in the matter. But you don't like it now. Right. You don't want to be with your husband. Bring it out. Come on. Come on. Like the brother said, some of you still run back to that nasty devil, man. Bring it out. You know? But you don't understand it's true. This is why you go through these situations, so-called black folks. This is why you continue to go through this hell. Because you don't want to listen to the Lord, man. Continue, King. Book of Baruch, chapter 4, verse 1. Uh -huh. This is the book of the commandments of God. This is what? This, this is, is the book, book of, of the commandments, commandments of God. God. This is the book of the commandments of God. What we reading right here? This was the Lord told us to tell you so-called black folks. The Lord told us to tell you black folks to straighten up, obey his commandments. This book is the commandments of the Lord. Continue, brother. And the law that endured forever. And the law that endured sometime. Forever. forever. No, I can keep it because the white man said I don't have to keep it. Forever. forever. The Lord told you to keep these commandments forever. You know, that's forever, ever, man. The commandments don't stop because you wanted them to stop. Right. right. The commandments don't stop because that white devil told you that you're going to have to do it. That's right. right. Because your Christian pastor don't teach it. The Lord said always to keep his commandments forever. Continue. All they that keep it shall come to life, but such as leave it shall die. Such that leave it shall die. Yeah. And your brothers and sisters have left the commandments. You have left the, start, the laws and statutes that the Lord gave our people, man. You have left it. Now we die here in America, man. Right. You know? Now we die. Now we get shot by the police, hung by rednecks, and get molested by these homosexuals, man. You know, we're dying here in America, man. Bring it out, Revelation chapter 11 and verse 8. Huh? Yeah. And their dead bodies 
And they what? And they're dead, dead bodies. You so-called black folks, you're dead. You're not dead physically yet, but mentally you're dead. Continue. And their dead bodies shall lie in the street of the great city, which is spiritually called Sodom and Egypt. This, which is what? Spiritually which is spiritually called, called Sodom, Sodom and Egypt. Egypt. It's spiritually called Sodom for the homosexuality, for the perverseness, That's you know? And in Egypt, because of the fact that you've been slaves here in America since you came over here. Right. And you might not believe it because you're able to go shop around on the Sabbath. You're able to shop around when the hell you want to, you know? But you're still a slave here in America, man. You're not damn free. Right. You're not free. You're still a slave. And you're going to be a slave unless you obey the Lord's commandments. That's right. You know? Continue. Right. Uh, where where our, also our Lord was crucified. Where also our Lord was crucified. See, this is the thing. Jesus Christ's name, what we call Yahweh Shah in Hebrew, he was crucified here in America. You know how? Because they perverted his picture. They, they crucified what he stood for. That's right. You know? Now, crucifixion only come when they nail you on the cross. Right. That's one way. Right. But they can crucify you by dark sayings, right. by right. proverbs and by words. Right. That's right. Come, by their media, right. by their, their religion. Right. Calling you a damn a Christian, that's crucifying Yahweh Shah. That's right. right. You know, telling Christ he came for everybody. That's crucifying Christ right there. That's right. Christ only died for you Israelites, man. That's right. right. He only died for you so-called black folks, man. That's right. So the so-called white man, he's still crucifying Christ, man, to this very day. And another one of the biggest blasphemers of Christ telling him that he looked like a stringy white dog, man. You know? Christ, I yeah, hey man, look, yeah, how is didn't look like that damn devil, man? Right. Bring it out, King. Definition of crucify. Bring it out. To destroy the power of. To treat cruelly. Come on. To destroy the power of. So one way you can destroy the power of somebody through lies and deception. You know? Through mass media. The same way they're destroying us today here in America. Don't they crucify you every time on the news? You make one crime, they put you out there like you're such a bad criminal. They put, they, hey look, book and shoot, Ray Ray, all of a sudden, oh man, oh uh, yeah, we got a crime on, on 6th Avenue. Is that such a crime? It is a crime towards the black neighborhood. Right. But why are you crucifying us? Make it seem like we're the villains. But when the so-called, the so-called Jewish man, when he commit a crime, you never hear about it. He kill each other. They, they have crimes in the neighborhood, but you will never hear about it. Right. right. Guess why? Because they own the media. They own the lies. Because they make them. They make the lies and give it to you like it's true. So they don't have to tell you the things they, that, that they do in their communities. But meanwhile, they so hell bent on making you a damn villain. That's, what have, that's how they crucify Christ, and that's how they crucify you. You know? So we want to let you know that Christ wasn't a stringy wet dog. He looked just like you Israelites. That's right. Precept. He looked just like you so-called black folk. That's Continue, right. brother. Bring out that precept. First, Mac First Maccabee chapter 3 and verse 48. Uh -huh. And laid open the book of the law, wherein the heathen had sought to paint the likeness of their images. See that? See, they laid open the book of the law. They laid open the Bible. They laid open the Bible so right. they can paint the pictures of Yahweh Shai to look just like them. Right, right. That's wicked and evil, man. To change the image of our Savior. To change the image of our King. You know? That's what the devils did. Bring it out, King. Let's bring it to, bring it out, King. The book of 2 Thessalonians, chapter 2, verse 3. Uh-huh. Let no man deceive you. Let no man deceive you. By any means. What for man? that day shall not come except there be a falling away first. Oh. And that man of sin be revealed. That man of who? That man, man of sin, sin be revealed. The white man is what? That man, man of sin, sin be revealed. Christianity is what? That, that man, man of sin, sin be revealed. The Pope is what? That, that man, man of sin, sin be revealed. The Pope, the so-called white man, and that doctrine Christianity is the man of sin, and now we're here to, to relieve it. Right. You know, we're revealing it, man. We reveal it to you so-called black folks. There was a lie from the beginning. Bring it out, King. That that man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition. Who opposeth and exalteth himself above all that is called God, or that is worship, so that he, as God, sit in the temple of God, showing himself that he is God. Come on. 
Now he had put himself as God now. You know, he had put himself as Yahweh Shah, as Jesus Christ. I don't even want to consider him name Yahweh Shah towards the so-called white man. Right. He had made himself Jesus now. You know, he said, I'm the savior of the world. I'm here to save the planet Earth. I'm here to save all humanity. He had put himself as God now. But he, he opposes himself in everything that the Lord stood for. How are you going to say that you're God when you don't keep that one commandment? That's right. You know? Continue, brother. Book of Malachi, chapter 1, verse 4. Whereas Edom said, We are impoverished, but we will return and build the desolate places. Thus said the Lord of hosts, They shall build, but I will throw down. And they shall call them the border of wickedness. The border of what? The, the border, border of wickedness. wickedness. The white man is what? The, the border, border of wickedness. Christianity is what? The, the border, border of wickedness. wickedness. Man, the white man and Christianity is the border of wickedness. Right. You got to understand that, you so-called black folks. The white man set up that doctrine to, to deceive you, to capture you, to make you a slave to him. You know, to put you in the pits of hell here in America. You know, this devil has deceived you for far too long. But that's why the Lord has brought us out here today to reveal the son of petition. You know, to reveal who Satan really is. Continue, King. The book of Revelation, chapter 3, verse 9. Behold, I will make them of the synagogues of Satan, which say they are Jews. Which what? Which say they are Jews. And those people say they are Jews, right? They're not, you know, they're not, uh, uh, not claiming that they are uh, white. That they are, you know, uh, Europeans. They say they are Jews. But we are here, we're telling our people that you're the real Jews according to the Bible. You know? Continue, brother. Behold, I will make them of the synagogue of Satan, which say they are Jews and are not. And are not. But do lie. They what, brother? But, but do lie. lie. They, they lie. They lie. You know? And shame should cover you so-called white folks for lying for hundreds and thousands of years of who we really are, of who you really are. You ain't nobody but the devil that the Bible speaks of, man. That's right. You come from the carcass of mountains. That's what the Bible says, man. Continue, brother. Which say they are Jews and are not, but lie. But behold, I will make them to come and worship before thy feet and to know that I have loved thee. And the Lord will cause them to come worship at your feet and know that he has loved you, so-called Israelites. That's right. The love you brothers and sisters out here, that his people. When you come back and obey the Lord's commandments, the Lord's going to have those same people, those same people that told you those lies and those dumb doctrines, the Lord's going to have those same people to come worship at your feet right. when you obey his commandments. You understand that? Sisters and brothers, you got to understand that God only chose you. God didn't choose the other nation. He didn't choose the so-called Jewish man. He chose you black folks to be his people, man. You understand that? While you're driving by, you're walking by, understand that God chose you, and he's going to hold you accountable. Right. You know? This is why it's so important for our people to come back to him, man. This is why it's so important for us to not to take on different doctrines, different lies. You know? Somebody bring out Ezekiel 3 and 27. Right. You got enough reason to bring it out, King. Book of First Kings, chapter eight and verse forty-seven. Bring it out. Yet, yeah. if they bethink themselves in the land whether they were carried captive and repent and make supplication unto thee in the land of them that I carried them captive, saying, We have sinned and have done perversely. We have committed wickedness. They were doing what, brother? We and have committed, committed wickedness. wickedness. Going to Christianity is what? Wickedness. Wickedness, man. Christianity is damn wickedness. You know, when you come back to the Father and you admit that we committed wickedness, the Lord is going to hear you. Continue, King. And so return unto thee with all thine heart and with all thy soul in the land of their enemies. In the land of your enemies that led you in this place. Continue. Which led them away captive and pray unto, the, unto thee toward their land which thou gavest unto their father, the city which thou have chosen and the house which I have built for thy name. Then hear thy prayer and their supplication in heaven, thy, thy dwelling place, and maintain their cause. And the Lord's gonna maintain your cause once you bethink yourself 
and come back and repent to the Most High. Right. That's when the Lord going to hear you, black folks. That's when He's going to hear you, Israelites. That's when He's going to hear and take you from this captivity here in America, man. You know, you got to bethink yourself, man. While you're walking around shopping and doing God's know what, bethink yourself and ask yourself, how do we come in this situation here in America? How do we become slaves here to this damn devil called the white man? You know, why are we getting shot down by the police? Why do we all, why we are so hated upon the earth? You know, you got to bethink yourself and understand that you're God's chosen people. That's right. That's why you're the, hated, the most hated on the planet earth. It's not because of your skin complexion. You know, it's not because you got woolly hair. It's because you're God's chosen people. That's right. Bring it out, King. Book of Deuteronomy, chapter 7 and verse 6. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God hath chosen thee to be a special people unto himself above all people that are upon the face of the earth. The Lord hath made you a special people above all the other races that's upon the planet earth. That's right. You know? So you're not like nobody else, man. So you sisters and brothers that want to put that blind hair in your head, take that thing out. Right. Because the Lord made you better than the so-called white woman. That's right. He made you better than the so-called white man. That's right. Get away from that style, man. Get away from putting the straight, I mean, damn, uh, escrow kicks in your hair and perm. Right. You know? Stay out the hair show. And so you brothers and sisters come out of this way of America, come back to the Father, but think yourself, and know the Lord have chosen you.